I was watching on the statistics yesterday, like based on true, like on true data. And uh, it was a messianic rabbi who was telling this. And if people don't know, basically it's a Christian pastor that has, that is Jewish and, and also honors the Jewish, uh, uh, the Jewish traditions. And he was saying that we think that changing governments will fix the world. We think that politicians will do it, but they won't because the, the elite, the top elite that is not seen are the ones that are controlling the government. And so he started talking about the awakening uh, because he said the top elite are controlled by Satan and these guys are controlling the 4% of the world, which is all the governments and all the people in power. And then 90% of the world are asleep. So the remaining 5% of the world is people like you and I, Nicholas, where we have been awakened by the Holy Spirit and we have been saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. So the whole job of that 4% is to break the 5% apart because they don't want us to wake up the other 90%. Because if we do, they lose, they lose control. Well, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. And what does that mean? It has many different meanings. First, you know, the salt usually is used by a minimum, minimum amount. So you have, you know, a meal this big, but yet a sprinkle of salt. So if he is uh, calling us the salt of the earth, it means there are very, 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 very few of us, right? And then what does that mean? Also, when you are the salt of the earth, the salt of a meal, that means you could, you have the power or the empowerment to change, make a big change, even mm -hmm. among big things, even though we're tiny. So we have that power and he empowers us with the Holy Spirit. He empowers us with his wisdom. He empowers us with his teaching. He empowers us with his words. We empowers us, he empowers us with being presence within us, among us at all time. You know, oh, yeah. he says, I will come and live in your heart. Mm. I will enter your heart and have dinner with you. Beautiful. Yeah. So we have that power. And just imagine, imagine, I'm going to just show you how much power we have, these tiny few people, the salt of the earth. He says, when you believe in me, you have faith in me, and you obey me, see, obeying is here the big secret, then you have the power to move mountains. You have the power to anything you ask for, I will manifest it for you. He will take charge in everything that crosses your mind and in everything you wish to have in this world Jesus Christ will himself manifest it for you and the world got it wrong the world works on the law of attraction thinking that they if they focus enough if they meditate enough on something they're able to manifest it manifest it and they can't be more wrong than ever because we, we think we have capability, but we don't. The, the reason Christians live the joy of life, the reason I know I live the joy of this life, constant joy, because I've learned and I've discovered and I've experienced that when I, since I've surrendered my life to Christ, all my dreams, He manifests it. It's being manifested through Him. Mm -hmm. and all I have to do, whatever I dream of, and I know when I, whatever I dream of is called by the, is ignited by the Holy Spirit. And I surrender it to Christ, and then Christ will manifest it for me. Amen. Well, it's clear, right? Jesus said, if, if uh, you abide in me, I will abide in you, and then you will ask anything, and I will be given to you. Because, because it's the Holy Spirit who's giving us those desires. It's not our flesh anymore. And you're completely right. You know, I fell into the whole law of attraction thing. I spent, you know, four hours meditating, trying to manifest stuff. 
And it was so ridiculous and so stupid because at the end of the day, God has the final say. Yes, the Bible says in Proverbs that the power of life and death is in the tongue, which means, you know, you have to be careful what you, what you, what you speak about. But at the end, ultimately, it is Jesus Christ who has the final say because he is our father. He's the creator of everything that lives. Right? <laughs> you, create, you create your own world with your own words. So we have to, as Christians, be careful what comes out of this tongue. And Jesus told us, he says, you know, not what comes out of your mouth. Not what comes into your body right? is what comes out of your body, what comes out of your tongue. So we are, we don't, we, we become dark based on the things we say, and we become light based on the things we, we say, not based on what we eat. Mm -hmm. So, and when we surrender our lives to Jesus, he says, he says, I am the light, and then I will, this light, I will be within you, and then you become the light. See, we become him. We become the light. And once you become the light, nothing dark will come out of this mouth. Because right now you're full of Jesus in your heart and the Holy Spirit, your entire body, mm -hmm. and then you're guided. I remember before I uh, was saved by Jesus Christ back in 1993, 1993, I had a very filthy mouth. You know, as a producer and director, and everything was like, you know, f every other word was filthy. And even I attempted on my own, I remember very well, I attempted on my own to change that. I couldn't. It just was part of who I have become. But the night I was saved, I know that the exact same moment, everything shifted within me. And starting that moment, never ever, a bad word, filthy word, intentionally came out of my mouth. That's beautiful, you know? Yeah. It shifted, and I couldn't. That was the very first thing I realized that the supernatural power that shifted and, and and lived within me and shifted me, beside removing all the darkness and the heaviness that I was carrying, I became so light. Mm -hmm. Also, I realized that my tongue is no longer filthy. And I marveled, I marveled, I said, oh, praise you, praise you, God, praise you, Lord, for this gift that, it, it used to bother me. And then, all of a sudden, he cleared it out of me. I just, he cleared the darkness that is inside of me. He cleared the, the thoughts that, you know, did not make me feel good. He cleared out of me everything that wasn't, he knew. It wasn't good for me. And I know a lot of people experience it because I work with a lot of people. You know, I teach and coach, you know, Bible health, Bible uh, living, Bible eating, Bible uh, thinking, you know, the, to the Christ wisdom. Uh, and that's, that is, you know, like, it's so important once we become aware, awareness, Awareness is a big, big, big word, you know, that Jesus, you know, keeps telling us that who have ears, let, it, let him hear, who have eyes, let him see. 